Hi everyone, um, good evening. Now this is an unusual one. I don't normally record on a Tuesday evening, but I couldn't resist. Um, right, I've got some happy meal to show you. First of all, right, hmm, which will I do first? Right, okay, I'll show you what I got on Vinted first. Then I'll show you this. So about uh, three, four weeks ago, maybe a bit longer, I found this little bargain on Vinted. Now, it is second hand, but I don't care because it's in good quality. It is a proper Filofax purse. It's got a little zip bit here. Um, just painted my nails with clear, so I can't really, I don't really want to touch it. But it has got a little zip coin bit in there. And it's got this here. Now, what I had been using is, I know loads of you have got the Saffiano, and I measured the Saffiano and found that actually my Filofax, vintage Filofax, that I also got off Facebook for £10, was only not even a finger width. Maybe it's even my little finger, little wonky finger. Um, that's the difference in size of the Saffiano, but it was the same length and everything else. So I had been using this, right, for all my little envelopes. Now, I won these envelopes on Labelle Budgets. And it, I felt really gutted when I bought this purse because I was like, I don't want to waste the lovely envelopes because that's exactly what I wanted and I had been using them. But I had found this it's brilliant when I'm going on a big shop. But sometimes it's just, if I'm nipping out of school and stuff, it's just a little bit too big. And I feel a bit daft carrying something that big. So I found this one. Right. So this was a perfect size because I thought I need a carry it like, like a purse. It can fit me bag or I can carry it on the teeny little strap and shove it on my wrist like that. Like proper 90s style. <laughs> anyway. So it has got the coin bit in which I was thrilled about. Little Filofax little symbol there. And it's teeny. Look, how cute is that? It's called a Filofax Capri. Where's the thing? Can you see that? It is adorable. It's all suede inside, right? And it's got the little sections here for the card. Still got the little original Filofax insert in. Uh, deluxe full green leather. And it's got notes bit in here. You can put your notes in there. And it's got another little section there and a section for probably like an Ikea pencil or something in this bit. And this diddy little note thing. Right, well obviously I'm not going to use that. So, because I didn't want to waste the envelopes I got from Labelle Budgets, I messaged her and I tasked her with the most insane task of making some little envelopes for this. Now, you might be thinking, well, it's just A7 size. It's not. It's smaller than A7 and there's only five ring holes where the A7 wallets have six ring holes and they're slightly wider, which means it wouldn't quite fasten because once it folds over, they kind of push over a little bit. So it wouldn't fasten. I already tried all that. So I messaged her and I says, is there any chance you could make these? I says, now if you can't, you can't, it's fine. It doesn't matter, but I says, I'd love it if you can. So anyway. Here's me happy nail. Came yesterday. I'm going to show you these. They're amazing. So from Labelle Budgets. I have opened them because I just couldn't resist. I needed to see them. Plus, I wanted to see if it would work before, like, even videoing this. Because it would be quite embarrassing if, like, it didn't work. <laughs> my idea. Anyway. So what I did is she said, could I send her one of the little note things? Just for size so she could get the holes exactly right. Because... You can't actually get a hole punch. Well, we don't think you can anyway. Of the five holes, the exact same size as this Filofax purse. So this was it. So I had my little description on. The wallets to measure up to the edge of the tab. And this size plus a little bit extra on each side where it marked and all the rest. And she's probably going, oh my God, what have I agreed to? So I sent her this. So she sent it back anyway. Bless her. A little card. And this is them. Um, how cute are they? Look. And the little, the proper little ones that you put your money in. So I haven't actually put them in yet. I tried one for size, obviously, but I haven't actually fit them in yet. So I'm going to do that with these now. So I'm going to take this out because I don't need that little Filofax genuine leather thing. It's, in. it's just about the characteristics of natural leather and stuff. 
I love the colour of this. It's so summery. It's just the cutest little thing. So I don't need these. These are going away. And I want these. Now don't get us wrong, this isn't for like big shopping. Like when I go on a big huge massive shop and I need loads of money. No. You know what? I sound like I'm a millionaire. I never have loads of money and I never do a massive shop. But hypothetically, if I was going to do a big massive shop, I wouldn't take this out with us. This is just for out and about just... Probably when I'm on the school run, there's a charity shop there, there's a spa, there's an Asda just across the road, that type of thing. So I'm going to pop these in here. I actually don't even know if they fit any money, haven't even tried it yet. So these are my main things I would use out and about. So food shopping. We're a family, we food shop practically every day. Even if it's a loaf of bread and a pint of milk, then we need food. Petrol. Again, I do drive practically everywhere, so... Petrol's a handy one to keep with us. Home for, you know, your loo rolls and whatever. Home essentials. Health. That would probably just go into, like, home bargains for shampoo, conditioner, painkillers, that type of thing. Not much else. Everything else would kind of go into other binders. Um, eating out. So, I wouldn't even see my takeaway money would be in there because that would probably be my other one. It would be more like if I wanted a cup of coffee out or a quick like, oh, we're passing McDonald's a little and screaming he's starving and we're still going shopping. We we'll grabs him something, that type of thing. My spends, you know, if I just out and about and I go, oh, I really fancy something and I put my own little pocket money in there. And charity because I do like shopping in the charity shops and it makes us feel better if it's a charity wallet. It doesn't feel like I'm spending a different category. I feel as like I'm doing some good, which technically I am. Um, yeah. So I can obviously put bits and pieces in there. I can put extra money in there if I need to. And again, like I said, I can put the coins in there because I'm aware I haven't got room for a coin purse. So if I do get a few little coins and stuff, there is, I don't know if you can see a little zippy bit in there where I can put the odd pound coins, whatever, in there. Pennies more like. So... Let's see if it actually fits any money. If I even, I don't think I've got any money to put in. I've just wiped out this week's food. Yep. We don't refresh our budget until Friday, and this is what we're looking at. Okay, pets has still got some. Let's see what pets has got. This is just to see if it fits. I'm not taking it out of here. I'm just going to see. So pets has got a 10 and a 5. Let's see if we can fit them in here. Try 5 as we fit. Now, I do know I'm going to have to fold them. So let's see, let's see, we'll put a fiver in petrol, let's see if it fits. Am I even in shot, but I've got you said I have. My nails are sticking to this, oh, I'm oh, sorry, they're not coming off. It's just because I knew. There we go. Let's see if I fold it once or twice, let's see what fits. Okay, so once does fit, but it pokes out. I'll turn them sideways. That's a bit better. We could probably get away with doing it in three like that and just slide that in there right that's better and tens i'm guessing we're probably doing three like that i love it look at this how cute my very new purse very short video at night that was just a little bit fun i was so excited i couldn't just not show you this. I absolutely love it. And like I said, I didn't want um, to waste the envelopes I had from the bell. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to support her little business and get myself some new envelopes and fill that back up. So thank you so much, LaBelle Budgets. I will link you in the video. And that lady is amazing. She's a miracle worker. Stuff's top quality. So go and check out LaBelle. And she's the Geordie, which just makes it extra awesome. So thank you very much. That's all for now. I'm going to go and sit down and put my feet up because do you know what? Hubby's gone to work. He's on night shift. The little one's gone to bed. The big one's just gone to our dad's in England today. The dogs are asleep for once, for now. The cat's nowhere to be seen. Obviously, the other three are at their mum's house. And my eldest is in Newcastle, that uni girl. So the house is quiet and I love it. And I'm going to go, I was going to say I'm going to go and watch some programs on Netflix. I'm not. I'm going to go and catch up on all your videos. So I've got so many to catch up from. 
um, with us being away. I was like missed like 12 days worth and you lot have been busy with your videos. So I'm slowly but surely rattling through um, my regulars and um, those who support me and I support them. Um, I am rattling through a few new ones, a few different ones as well. Um, if I'm not following your page and you're following me and you also do videos like this or just random chit chat, whatever, drop us a message. Let us know what your username is or your page and I'll go and check it out. So thank you very much. Catch us later. Bye.